everyone. In today's video, we are going to be talking through my top 10 recommended foundations, whether you like a light, natural coverage, or you like that full glam foundation. I will mention my shade in each foundation and where you can purchase each of these in the description box below. For those of you who are new, I do have that oily combination skin, so I tend to go more towards a natural slash matte finish. I have both affordable and high-end options for you in this video. Tell me what foundation you wear and what you would recommend that I try because I am always open to suggestions and I love hearing what you guys wear and what you guys think is the best foundation out there. So. With that said, let's go ahead and get started with this video. All right, we are starting with the Everyday Natural Foundations. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. This would classify as a high-end foundation, but I find the price to be reasonable, especially for a Sephora foundation. I do like the fact that this isn't too matte, but it has the perfect amount of matte quality that it lasts for a good amount of time and it keeps that oil from breaking through throughout the day. I like how my skin is smooth with this foundation and my pores aren't noticeable when I wear this. I love that this comes as a frosted glass bottle and it comes with the white cap and a pump because I think the pump is my favorite way to apply foundation. It's just very easy, mess free, it's just foolproof. I don't like how this foundation pulls a little bit orange on me towards the end of the day, but that is mainly due to the fact that this is in my summer shade. So, I mean, what else can I expect? But um, just make sure that you get the right color in this foundation because it will darken once it settles into your skin. I can apply this foundation by using either a sponge or a brush. Really, both of them work very well. Um, with the brush, I tend to get a heavier application. With the sponge, it ends up looking more natural. So it just depends on what I'm going for that day. This is a high-end foundation. It's called the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This Foundation. I raved about this in my February Favorites video because it truly is a beautiful foundation. I have so much texture, you guys, um, but this just really applies smoothly over that and it does hide all of that bumpiness on my skin. Usually foundations like this with that natural finish won't last as long, but it really does last. This is a type of foundation that you can build it up and it still looks like your natural skin. I don't think there is any foundation that makes my pores disappear like this one does. Once again, I am all on board with the frosted bottle and the pump. I actually didn't realize that I had a pump for the longest time, which is really embarrassing. I don't know how that happens, but it did. I do have to be more observant when I am applying this foundation along the jawline because if you don't apply it evenly, it will end up looking slightly blotchy. Um, I actually noticed that when I was putting this on my friend. Other than that, like I have nothing negative to say about this foundation. This is an affordable foundation. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Foundation. I raved about this foundation in my newest favorites video. I feel like this would slide right along into my Il Maquillage foundation but it's so much more affordable and it has more of a mattifying effect. And I really do think that this foundation would work for those of you with um, dry skin, even though it is targeted towards oily skin. It is a really easy foundation to apply. I would say it's easier to apply than my Il Maquillage foundation. The formula is just really easy to work with. I just get a beautiful, even application when I wear this foundation and the formula is just so good. Like it literally tops most of my high-end foundations. As of right now, ooh, as of right now, I would say that this is my most used makeup foundation. Um, and if I had to choose one makeup product that I would have to use the rest of my life, I would choose this guy. I do like the dropper application in this. Um, it just gives me the feel of a high-end foundation, just a luxurious appearance. And once again, the frosted bottle, um, you can't go wrong with that. And especially for a drugstore foundation, this is high quality. You can apply this foundation by using either a sponge or a brush. I found that either work for me really well and I can get similar finishes. So just use your preferred method of applying this foundation and it'll look beautiful on you, I promise. The Arasa Natural Beauty Coconut Cream Foundation. I have never used a foundation like this before and I don't think I know of any other foundation that could really compare to this. After I wear this, my skin really does 
feels so nourished and um, it doesn't get irritated at all with this formula. I love combining this foundation with the Il Maquillage foundation because those two just pair really well together. And basically I use this as a primer for the majority of the time that I wear this just because it has a gripping, um, slightly tacky finish. It's not sticky, it just has a good gripping formula that is really great as a primer. Once again, the frosted glass just does wonders for me. I love that type of packaging. I don't really like how you have to dip your finger in every time, but I mean, what else can you do with a cream foundation? Um, I use my Morphe M439 to apply this foundation. If you just have like a dense, short brush, um, that'll work perfectly fine. This is the Beauty Bakery Demi Matte Cake Mix Foundation. This is a high-end makeup purchase. This foundation makes my skin look even and really does a good job of hiding my skin's texture. I am wearing this foundation today and I just love the even, powdery finish that I get with this foundation. I like the buildable coverage. It's a medium to full coverage, but you can get a natural look with this, which I kind of went for a heavy blush, kind of crazy blue eye today, but um, the foundation itself is very can be very natural, and I do prefer to wear this on a daily basis, um, just because the formula is so good. Once you figure out how to apply this foundation, it is beautiful. I love the powdery matte finish. I don't think I own any foundation that gives me a finish quite like this. If I feel like I'm having a day where I'm gonna be fighting that oil off, this is the foundation that I grab instantly. I put on an oil last night from Corez, like a rose oil, and my skin was just looking kind of oily today, so this is the foundation that I went for. The frosted bottle and rose gold situation is the winner. I've used several different sponges with this foundation, and I've just found that they end up showing my pores really bad. So um, my preferred method of applying this foundation is once again my Morphe M439 uh, brush. This just works really well since it's dense. I apply it to the back of my hand and I dip my brush in and just kind of apply it that way. That way I get that even application. The next foundation I want to mention to you is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. Um, I want to get more into the clay or into the stick foundations because they really are so easy to apply. I think this is probably the easiest way to apply a foundation. This is a really blendable formula, so you can go for a very pretty natural finish, but once again, you can build it up and get the coverage that you want. I do have to work with this foundation. This foundation makes my skin look so even, and it does work with my texture fairly well. I just, I really like the stick foundations because they're really easy to apply um, and they're so easy to travel with because it doesn't make a mess all over your makeup bag. It's just a very convenient makeup product to have. I have to be sure to set this foundation, otherwise it won't last very long, but um, that is the only negative thing that I have to say about this foundation. Um, my sister Anna was wearing this foundation and she is the one that actually introduced this to me. Um, she looked beautiful in this foundation. It gave her a soft blurred effect and she just looked amazing. Um, if you guys have any more recommendations for stick foundations, especially drugstore, please let me know because I want to find a good stick foundation that is from the drugstore. Both a sponge and a brush work very well with this formula, so I would suggest either. Now we are moving on to my second category, which is full coverage glam foundations. The Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation is probably my most used full coverage foundation. This um, formula does a really good job of making sure that that oil doesn't break through. Even though this is a full coverage foundation, I can get a natural look using this foundation by using a sponge. A little of this goes a long way, so this will last you forever. I start little and then build it up because you do not want to go overboard with this, otherwise it can get really cakey, which is to be expected with a full coverage foundation. The packaging is so good. I love the Huda Beauty brand and their packaging. Uh, it just kind of feels retro. The Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation is full coverage, man. You can really build this up. 
This smells really chemically, but it does claim to be a cruelty-free and vegan product. So I'm actually really surprised at that. This is my second favorite drugstore foundation in comparison to the Catrice HD liquid foundation. You can really build it up and it will not get cakey. The only thing with this foundation is that I've noticed when I wear it that it breaks up around my nose area right here. So that's the only negative thing that I have to say about this. Um, I love the packaging, the rose gold once again. I love this applicator. It is so great and so satisfying. Am I just a crazy makeup person? Once again, either my Real Techniques sponge or my Morphe M439. Um, both of those seem to work really well with this foundation and I get similar finishes with either of them. The Kat Von D Locket Foundation is a high-end Sephora brand. I would describe this as a thick, heavy, full coverage, like full, full coverage, full coverage more than Huda Beauty coverage that won't budge. This would be perfect for an event or if you were a performer. I do find this to be similar to the Huda Beauty foundation, but the Huda Beauty, I can get more of a natural look. With this guy, no natural. This is heavy, full on glam. I do prefer the Huda Beauty formula in comparison to this one, but this is my choice if I want to go for an all out glam look. Don't put a bunch of this on your face, otherwise it's going to get a cakey mess. You are going to have a cakey situation. You can apply this foundation with a sponge or a brush. My preferred method is a sponge. So just whatever you prefer to apply your foundation, go for it. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation is a high-end Sephora brand. I would put this more as a luxurious brand because Estee Lauder can be really expensive. But I use this foundation for my wedding. This survived humid Florida in June. So I found this to be more of a natural finish more so than a matte, but it does last a long time. I found that this foundation does reveal my texture a little bit, um, depending on the coverage that I'm going for, but it's not so noticeable. My preferred method of applying this foundation is with a sponge because it just makes it easier to get that natural finish. I have special memories attached to this foundation just because I use it on my wedding day, so I'm probably a little bit biased with it. That's what, six foundations that I've dropped in this video? That is all of the foundations that I have to share with you guys today. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I really would love your support. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and like this type of video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.